Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, so you've got Chloe here today. Sorry if I sound a bit weird, I've got like a really bad cold. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this week's theme is diet. Um, I have the three bunnies in for bonding at the moment. If you want to see any more of that, then go onto my personal channel and there's a video up about that. Um, <laughs> flopping. Um, yeah, so this week's theme is diet and... Obviously the most important thing in your rabbit's diet is a good quality hay. Um, and Benji is doing a good example of hay eating. Aren't you Benny? Yeah. Now Benji hardly ever eats hay but I've noticed that he eats a lot of hay when he's with the other rabbits. So I think it's going to be a good thing that he's with them. <laughs> um, just show you. This is the hay I get. As you can see it's like really really green. Um, I get it from hay for pets, it's meadow hay which means it's a mixture of lots of different grasses and stuff. Um, it costs me £15 for 9.5 kilograms, which is expensive if you get your rabbits hay from like a farm, that's going to seem quite expensive but um, that's quite good compared to like if you're going to get it from a pet shop or something, you normally pay about £3 for less than a kilogram so it's quite good um, but yeah so 80 to 90 percent of your rabbits diet should be a good quality hay it's vital for their digestion and their um, teeth a lot of rabbits who don't eat hay can end up with serious dental problems later in life and for me the money that I spend on a good quality hay for them to eat is more important than spending money on a dental for them later in life because I didn't do it properly the first time round so I'll happily spend lots of money on their hay. Hey Benny, it's nice, huh? Okay, so I have all their food inside at the moment because obviously I'm bonding them and I don't want to be leaving them to go out to the shed. So um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is pellets and they're probably all going to go crazy now. Oh no, just Benny. <laughs> um, so mine get fed on Science Selective, rabbit, aniseed and fenugreek flavour. Um, all three are currently on this, but when they live together I'm going to move Benji onto Science Selective Mature because he's six this year, so you know, I just want to make sure he's eating something good. Um, yeah, so this one, I use it because it's 19% beneficial fibre and I think there are some out there that claim to have more fibre than that, but I'm not sure they actually do. Um, plus it's aniseed and fenugreek, which is like less boring than normal pellets and also fenugreek is an appetite stimulant so I think these are quite good if you've got rabbits that are stasis prone because it will get them eating um, and it says 100% vegetarian as recommended by vets and the whole reason I change o changed over to science selective in the first place was because I was feeding XL before and then I found out that it actually had meat in it and I just was not happy feeding my rabbits something that had meat in it. So, yeah, they're on this one now. And they get about this much every day each. And they're all going crazy now. So next I have my bag of dry wild foods. And then I have a few herbs in here too. My rabbits can't eat vegetables. Um because they all three have the same problems with their stomachs. They just cannot handle vegetables. It just doesn't work. So instead they have herbs and today they've got some parsley and some basil. Um, guys, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Um, because that's their favorite. So I was thinking, you know, while I'm bonding, if anything happens, then I can distract them with some food. Um, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> Calm down. Um, but yeah, they get about a handful of herbs. Oh, my phone's going. They get about a handful of herbs every day each. Um, and when they live together properly, they'll get lot, like a bowl full um, to share between them. So yeah, that's there. And then in here I have what's left of my foraged foods. Um, there's plantain, dandelion bramble leaves and goose grass in here basically I just went out because I live in the countryside I just went out and like 
found it all, um, washed it and then put it in my conservatory to dry. Um, hey, careful. Um, and once it was dried, I just put it in here and I had quite a big supply of it, but now it's running low, so I might have to go out and try and, I don't know, get some more. <laughs> copy, Vaughn. Copy, copy, copy. Come on, hurry up. Quick, before they get here. Oh, Benny. No, copy. They are gone. That's like the first time I fed them without it turning into like a fight. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the dried foraged foods. Um, it's quite good for if you can't afford to buy like really good quality vegetables and stuff for them for every day. Um, part of the reason I go foraging is because obviously mine can't eat normal vegetables and herbs are expensive so it's a lot easier for me to go out and like find some leaves and dry them than to go out and spend £10 a week on herbs so yeah okay so the last thing I have for them are treats I keep my treats in this little tub um, I, I'm not a huge fan of treats um, I don't think they're very good for rabbits and I most definitely wouldn't buy like, I don't know, there are certain brands that I wouldn't buy from, like, you can get these things in Wilkinson's, like, bits of fruit, or, like, shaped like fruit, and I just think they're really, like, you can just tell that they're full of sugar and things that aren't very good for rabbits, um, and I only buy things that I know are fully natural, and, like, I've read all the ingredients, and things like that, so I have these little stars, and these are from the Woodlands range, and they are um, made from parsnips, I think. And then I have these little red balls that came with them, and they're made from beetroot. And then the only other treat I have in here is fenugreek crunchies. Um, yeah, and they love these. Um, but yeah, those are the only treats I have in there. I just... I'm not a huge fan of treats. I think it's better to treat them with a piece of their, like, favourite fruit or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a mean bunny owner, but I do have this tin. And, and they do get treats, sort of, like, once a week, something like that. Or they get one every few days or something. But, like I said, I only buy ones made of natural ingredients and from ranges that I trust. So that's normally naturals or woodlands. Um, I wouldn't get any treats from any other brand. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.